So this is Robin Walters from uh, TechCrunch. Uh, I'm at the Mobile 2.0 conference in uh, Barcelona. Uh, I'm here with uh, Raimo van der Klein, who is the co-founder of uh, Layer, a very interesting uh, startup based in the Netherlands. It's building an augmented reality browser for the Android platform. And what does that mean, Raimo? Um, basically, we have uh, an application which overlays digital information on the camera view of your phone. Uh, and we have the possibility to create different layers of reality, basically. So if you're look, looking for houses, for example, we can put in a, a real estate layer and shows you which houses are for sale. Or we can put in a lo an, uh, uh, yeah, other layers like uh, a social network layer or uh, tweets nearby, those kinds of things. Right. And uh, is it only available for the Android platform for now? For now it is because it's the only f uh, phone with a compass and a good operating system on which you can develop. Uh, but we're planning to go to uh, I iPhone 3GS. Do you have a timing for uh iPhone, iPhone application? Well, uh, before the leaves fall off uh, in, in the Netherlands. Okay, so that means springtime. Uh, no, uh, uh, autumn time. Autumn, yeah, sorry. Before, <laughs> before the autumn. Right. Uh, um, so can, can you show us what it does? Yeah, yeah, sure. So let's uh, have a look here. I, we are in Barcelona, but this is a, a data set from the... Uh, oh, basically, no, it's not a data set. It's, the location is fixed in Amsterdam, so we have Dutch data only in it. This is real estate. Uh, you can go to a different layer. These are jobs for sale, of jobs uh, which are available. These are ATMs, so let's find an ATM here. There's ATMs. Uh, we have also uh, social, social network site Hives. And Hives has all kinds of uh, hotspots. And you can, uh, here is a filter settings. You can choose, you know, like, oh no, just show me restaurants in a 2700 meters uh, and it picks up the results from the server. Right. And so, so where do you get all this data from real estate sites and job? Uh? I don't think it's getting any data here. Uh, oh, it is. Sorry, here. Um, APIs, but so we integrate them as well. So you don't need to have an API. Just give us uh, access to your database and we build it. And right, so, you, so you need third-party uh, data providers to uh, power yeah, the service? Basically, we need coordinates. Coordinates and a lot of metadata. Because metadata, is, you know, everybody has hotels, access to hotels, but it's the metadata which is really important for us. So if you have interest in uh, reviews, information, prices, uh, etc., uh, availability of things, uh, then it's getting to really interesting. Right. Okay. So, Raimo, you, you showed me uh, something else uh, earlier today. Uh, so it's exactly a feature that no one has uh, mentioned so far. Yeah. Um, and it's based on a local search from Google. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So it shows how it works. So our newest layer, uh, which is in our application, is Google Local Search. So we integrated with the API of Google, and now we have Local Search in there. Can you show it? Yeah, sure. This is Local Search. Um, so this is so already results. If I click on the radar, I see the settings panel coming up. And here I can just choose uh, any, any of the various uh, categories, like museums, theaters, parking, hotels, restaurants, cinemas, coffee right, clubs, so you can filter them down. Yeah, so let's check uh, the restaurants in, uh, okay, I don't know, 4,000 meters. And now it's getting the results for restaurants. And let's see how long it takes. Ah, here it is. So it still thinks I'm in Amsterdam, of course. Here you see the results. 600 meters, there's the Bellevue Hotel. For example, if I want to have more information, I just click it and it opens the mobile Google local search page of the hotel. Here right. we have it. Sweet. If you go back and you just uh, hold it, you directly can call the hotel as well. Okay, so it opens the telephone number that is stored in the Google... Yeah, exactly. Uh, so database. we know which telephone number is uh, uh, also metadata of this object, the Bellevue Hotel, and we basically uh, yeah, let you call it. Right. So and yeah, this is how it works. Nifty. Yeah. So, uh, what are the features that you have planned for uh, the next version? Uh, Feature-wise, I think the, uh, this is also new. Uh, one of the what you now see is what we're doing is basically we're showing all the objects around you, right, in one view. Right. One of the things we want to do now is that we only show you one object, and if you are at the object, we show you information about it and then lead you to the next object. Okay. So that way you get a trail of point-to-point -point system or a track or. A, and that way you can play the GPS games or right. those kinds of things, or uh, tour, tours in the city, and, uh, really? and we want to develop that. And it's quite easily because we just need to create a different screen widget, and uh, right. you know okay. the information is on the server and just gives you one coordinate back. Cool. So, so that's something we want to do as well. 
So, and to conclude, um, what's your business model? How are you going to make money with this? Well, now currently, you know, we, we try to uh, finance ourselves by uh, getting co uh, companies, corporations, and brands to uh, pay for the integration now with Layer, so that they are available there. Okay. And in the future, we want to have uh, other models, and we're thinking about licensing, maybe, and also uh, paid layers. So, for example, that you're I don't know, a Lonely Planet uh, layer here in Barcelona. If you want to have that, you have to pay two, two euros for it. You purchase it basically in the content right. store of layer. But to convince companies to pay for that, you need a user base, right? So exactly. how are you going to get all these users? Well, we have got quite a lot of press. So that ha helps us <laughs> get content parties. So we're in talks now with a lot of partners. Uh, I think also real estate partners across the globe, uh, uh, beer brands, uh, etc., which are all interested in creating layers. And what we're doing, we're doing a country by country launch. So for Germany, for example, we're gonna launch layer in Germany. And I think those are very interesting press moments also for these brands okay. to participate in. Cool, thank you, Raimo. Cool, bye-bye.